1. The commemoration of the martyrdom of the saints Valerian and Tiburcius, his brother. On this day, Saint Valerian and Tiburcius, his brother, who were natives of Rome, were martyred. They were the son of pagan parents. Valerinos was betrothed to the daughter of one of the nobles of Rome. Her name, her name was Kilkeia. She was extremely beautiful and a Christian who worshipped Christ in secret. When he married her, she gradually started to tell him about Christ's life and how to believe him how and how to believe in him until he believed at her hands and was baptized. When Saint Valerian was filled with grace, he told his brother, who also became a believer and was baptized. Because of his because of his righteousness, Saint Valerian became worthy to talk to angels and reveal to him for future hidden things. When the Euclidean reigned and persecuted the Christians, these two saints were, were, went around the city and carried the bodies of the martyrs, prepared them for burial for, and buried them. Certain weak men betrayed them to Tosius, the, king usher, the king's usher, who summoned them and asked them about their belief. They confessed that they were Christian. He offered them many things if he if they would deny Christ and offer sacrifices to idols, but they were not deceived by his promises. They treated them with many kinds of torture with many kinds of torture, but that did not frighten them. When he saw their patience and endurance, he ordered their heads to be cut off. The other saw and just carrying their, their souls up to heaven. And immediately he believed in the Lord Christ. Because of his conversion, he was cast into prison for three days. And on the fourth day, he was taken out of prison, and his head was cut off along with the head of Kilkeia, Valerian's wife. They all received the crown of martyrdom. Their prayers be with us. Amen. On this day also, we commemorate the departure of St. Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa. He was born in Cappadocia in the year 330 AD and was ordained bishop by his brother St. Basilius in the year 372 AD. He was exiled during the reign of Emperor Valens, then returned in the year 378 AD by the order of Emperor Theodosius the Great. He wrote many church books and departed in peace in the year 396 AD. His prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen.